Hey, it's Jesus from Low Code, and today I want to show you how to add the app. Uh, and this will provide a better user experience and a better interface for your users. So I just copied over the task tracker uh, template from Glide, right? And it's like a to-do list, categories, projects, and tasks, right? So right now, by default, Glide provides these uh, placeholder categories, and then they added the emojis. And let's see your data. It has an emoji and it has a category image. So if the user adds a new category, right, so now, right now, category name, image, and then I don't know where they're editing the emoji. But let's say that we don't want this uh, because users won't upload the emojis, right? So we want to make the categories look better with tiles. Uh, and this doesn't look pretty cool. So let's go over to our data in categories and let's add a new column. So this will be the image column. Actually, new image, but new image. And we will use a template column. Then let's jump over to this here. I mean, in Unsplash, right? So we want to use Unsplash as our source of our pictures. And then based on the name of the category, we will bring over a featured image from that category. So here we have this random search term and then we can bring over some featured pictures. Then we can also uh, search with size. So let's copy this parameter, which is pretty cool, to our template column here. And then I also want to add a size because we don't need images that are that large. So in this case, okay, so com slash 600 times 400 pixels and then featured and then the keyword. And then of course, we will replace the keyword for the name of a category. Okay, so we have this new image. So now we can use this in our tiles. So let's edit this list and image. Let's use the new image column. And oh, there's something wrong here. And then details. Not, we can find out. Okay, let's see. Let's see if we delete the. If we do this, what do we get? Cool. So let's say we have a category for, actually we can delete this now, category pets. I add a new category and then you can see uh, it's bringing over a cat. So probably we want to format somehow our um, images so they look better. So let's revisit that. Actually, let's use the same size and see what we get. So on splash, slash, size, slash, featured, question, keyword. Hmm, strange. So let's delete the size. We don't need that for now. And then we go back to our data and we can change the format. So let's make it through two. Right, so now we have a pretty cool picture without having users adding them to the to the categories. So I can add uh, dogs and couple and work or actually let's say office. So we end up this is pretty cool. We end up with um, our pretty nice images on the background here. And then let's add them here as well. So image, we will use the new image. Look at this, amazing, right? Hope you enjoyed this short tutorial for the tablet columns. See you soon, bye.